Hello everybody and welcome to my channel Overcoming Gluttony. My name is Alicia and I used to weigh 327 pounds. I will update you on my new weight in just a second because today is way in Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> today is a way in Wednesday so the format of today's vlog will be different I'm going to share with you my non-scale victories for the week also all the junk food that I've eaten this week and it's been a birthday celebration for me so we're going to go over a lot of that junk food it's going to be a bit <laughs> the junk food that I ate for this week and then also we're going to talk about the lies that I've told myself and you will be able to be updated on my new weight. So, I feel like I'm forgetting something. But let's just go ahead and move on with it anyway. So, before I go too much further, let me give you a disclaimer. I have been on a natural weight loss journey since July of 2020. The way that I choose to lose weight and gain a healthy lifestyle is by changing one or two behaviors each year. I am not focused on a number on a scale. I am focused on building healthy habits that become ingrained into my lifestyle so that I can have sustainable weight loss and overall health. So the behaviors that I chose to change for 2023 pertaining to my health are I want to drink 60 ounces of water with my breakfast every morning as well as consume four servings of raw vegetables as part of my breakfast each day walk for an hour before going to work those are the three behaviors that I've decided to change to help me lose weight so with that being said since July of 2023 up until now, April of 2023, I have been successfully completing these new behaviors 95% of the time. That's an A. Yay. Fat girl finally gets A and PE. <laughs> Somebody tell Time Magazine, okay? Write to Time Magazine and let them know. No, matter of fact, put it in the New York Times that I am completing my health goals 95% of the time and these are goals that I do daily. Hooray! For those of you who never got good grades at PE, you understand where I'm coming from. <laughs> you understand about how I just want to fall on my knees and say hallelujah. Okay, it's finally getting done. All right. So, um, let's move on. Let's talk about the lies that I've told myself this week. So, like I said, this is my birthday month. And so some of the discussion that we're going to be chatting about will be pertaining around my birthday. So, one, th one lie, I've told myself at least three lies this week. One of those lies is, hey, I spend a lot of money on other people, so it's okay for me to spend a lot of money on myself to celebrate my birthday when it comes to food. At the time I was saying this to myself, I had already bought three meals for celebrating my birthday, three celebratory meals. And now I'm sitting here trying to justify why I should be able to buy three more on top of the other three, three more. So I'm telling myself, hey, I spend money for others, so hey, let me just go ahead and spend this money on me. Yeah. And the second lie that I told myself was, and this was a lie that I already shared with you guys last week, but it carried on into this week. I told myself, I'm not gonna use food to celebrate my birthday. I'm gonna stop. No, it didn't stop. So that was another lie I told myself. And the final lie is that I will, um, I will buy my exercise equipment, a mini rebounder, 
mini trampoline before I buy for other people. Like I said, okay, it's about me. I'm gonna get my little mini trampoline before I spend any other money on other people. But I chose to spend more money on a wedding gift that um, I've already heavily invested in. I decided to put more money into that as opposed to getting my trampoline. Do I regret it? No, because at least I'll be able to learn from it. Will I do that again? I hope not, but chances are I probably will. <sighs> We're trying to break out of this, so, you know, trying to break out of the behaviors of allowing myself to be neglected and other people to receive so much more of an abundance of my energy and my resources and my time. So I'm trying to work on that. So those are the three lies that I've told myself this week. And then also, as far as my non-scale victories, um, oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. I forgot to tell you what my new weight is. All right. So my new weight is 263 pounds. Yes, I am 263 pounds. How do I feel about gaining that extra three pounds that I that I was from last week? I feel okay. I feel so-so. I think maybe I should feel sick and disgusted and disappointed with myself, but I don't. Maybe I should feel that way. Um... The reason why I feel so so is because I know what I've been eating. I know what I've been thinking. I know what I've been doing. And then another reason is there have been times before where I have put on some extra weight, like seven pounds, and then your girl came back and crushed it. Or no, I put on four pounds, and then the next week I came back and crushed it and lost seven pounds. Now, I feel very confident that I can lose this three pounds in the next week. Because I hope that I won't keep using food as part of my birthday celebration. I'm hoping. But that hope is kind of slim. Ugh. There was a time when I stepped on the scale this week and it was 267. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. But then I don't feel that way when it's time for me to order my favorite meal. We're still working through this. The only part that really disgusts me is that I keep losing weight and then gaining it and then losing it and then gaining it during this weight loss journey, during um, January 2023 to April 23. That's the part that I'm most agitated with. It's like I'm backtracking constantly and I say, hey, I'd like to have a smooth month where I'm just consistently losing, like I was in January and February, but my actions don't follow that. So maybe I don't really want it. My actions will show, you know, what I really want. So that is the only part that agitates me. Not the fact that I'm 263 pounds. I'm not mad at that number on the scale. I'm just mad that I keep losing and then putting it back on and then losing and then putting it back on with this whole 260 dance like let's get out of the 260s so we will see we will see where my commitment lies let's just keep let's just stay tuned and see where my commitment lies so as far as some non-scale victories, I've noticed that I am more delicate. What do you mean, Alicia? Well, with being bigger, a lot of times um, when I do things, it seems like it's like boom, 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 boom. But um, at my job, we had some supervisors secretly taking pictures of us to see if we were working and um they would come into our location unannounced that they were there and you know snap some shots of us and i noticed as i was uh, i had a picture of me that was being taken my my 
stance was very delicate and feminine as opposed to like stocky. And then in another situation where I noticed I was more delicate, two bees flew in a very small crowded area. So there was there were me, it was me and several people in this small area where two bees flew in. And I make my own deodorant and I use essential oils when I make my own deodorant. And essential oils are essentially the oil that is extracted from plants or flowers from different parts of the plants or flower, whether it be the petal, the stem, the root, or whatever. So bees are naturally attracted to these oils, which means they're attracted to me because I have these oils on my body. And so as these two bees <laughs> <laughs> were trying to show their interest in me I was just like no 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 get away no as opposed to being my usual manner of vrunt, 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 vrunt. so um, yeah I noticed that I'm moving my body and positioning my body in a more dainty feminine way without me even trying it's just coming more naturally um, also, my face is getting smaller. When I wash my hands and I look in the mirror, I can see that my face is so much smaller. And I'm also starting to get a little jawline coming in. I am increasingly more interested in spending more money and more of my time and effort on myself. Um, Truth be told, for Minister's Appreciation Month, which is in October, I wanted to give very significant, substantial gifts to the ministers. And now I'm thinking, no, I think I'd rather invest that truckload of money into my own business. Not that I won't give them gifts, but they won't be as financially burdensome but it's not really a burden but as financially hefty as I would normally do because hey I'm finding more interest in being interested in myself <laughs> I am another non-scale victory is I'm very confident that this three pounds that I've gained this week will be off I'm just like it's already done so I'm hyper confident about that and my refrigerator decided it wanted to cheer it wanted to cheer and say yeah girl you gonna do it <laughs> my refrigerator just decided to start talking all right so I'm hyper confident about losing this three pounds I'm not discouraged I'm not disappointed I feel like it's already off it's gonna be off and I'm gonna be into the 250s next time I talk to y'all on way in Wednesday so you can just go ahead Get a pencil and write down what 250 range I'm going to be in. <laughs> it's gonna do, is it going to be 258, 257, 256? Go ahead and write it down. And then um, I was walking past a storefront that had glass. Um, and I saw my reflection. And I noticed I looked less bubblish. Now I still got a lot of bubble. Like up here and back here. But I'm not as bubblish up here. So I'm like, oh, okay, great. I'm looking less like Humpty Dumpty, less like a bubble. Yeah, I am less bubblish. So another non-scale victory is I'm thinking more out of the box of what I used to think in regards to my health journey. I'm being more creative and helping me helping myself along on this health journey. For example, as I was in bed, I was contemplating, okay, what can I do to psychologically improve my mental thinking about reaching for success, being more successful with this health journey? And I said, okay, here's an idea. Why don't I think what would I look like if I weighed more than 327 pounds? That's my heaviest recorded weight, right? So I know what I'd look like 
at that weight, but what would I look like if I weighed 377 pounds? I think that that is a beautiful exercise to do. Imagining what you would look like if you were 50 or 200 pounds heavier than your heaviest weight. Really visualizing yourself. Then that will probably give you some encouragement to not reach for the candy bar. Hmm? I don't know if it will work for me when it comes to my favorite meal though. We'll have to see. Um, and also on one of the vlogs that we've had this past week, I turned to the side to show you guys something and I noticed that um, when I re-watched that vlog, I noticed that, oh, okay, my love handles aren't sticking out as much. It used to be that this was tight and you could just see a lot more definition of my love handles but you can't see I'm not saying that they're not there but you can't see it like it would as if this was a spandex suit because the shirt is getting looser because my love handles are becoming less prominent all right well I think just in being genuine and being authentic I'd like to just chit chat with y'all just a little bit more before I show you um, the unhealthy food that I've eaten I spent $55 in unhealthy food and I'll show you that in a little moment um, this week and right now I'm feeling a little bit different in regards to my health journey I'm a little confused because why am I confused? Why am I confused? Because I'm completing my goals 95% of the time. I'm losing weight. I'm losing inches. Stuff is smaller. Or I'm buying smaller clothes. I'm in smaller categories. Stuff that I couldn't wear before is now fitting me regularly. Instead of for being too tight, it fits regular. But yet I still feel I'm having this dialogue about my with myself about I'm not doing it well enough because my mind is still hitched on drop weight, drop weight, drop weight, drop weight. Even though I say I'm not focused on a number on the scale, I kind of feel disappointed and agitated that I'm not 220 pounds. Not that, that that's my final weight, that's not my final weight, but I just feel like the 70 pounds or so-ish that I've lost in the past three years just doesn't feel significant enough. Maybe because there's not as many people out there like me that are losing the weight slowly and we're used to seeing people who are, at least I am, I'm used to seeing people who are like, yeah, I dropped 120 pounds and yada, yada, yada. Some people will say it took me seven years, it took me 10 years, but usually that's not the case. So, that's why I say I'm kind of confused with myself. When I couple all the times that I did go out to eat for my birthday and celebration, and the times that I wanted to eat even more um, in celebrating my birthday, when I couple that with the successes that I've had and the... Um, lack of progress, right? I'm still in the 260s because of my choices. I just feel like a ball of confusion. So now what I'm doing is I'm just saying, girl, just keep focusing on them goals. Keep focusing on those, those three healthy behaviors that you said you want to do. Don't focus on the, the fact that um, you're still in the 260s. Don't focus on that. So I'm really trying not to focus on that and just focus on those those goals. But this week it has been a struggle for me and I think maybe a little bit last week too. And I think maybe why it's a struggle is because of all of the unhealthy food that I've eaten. But yet I would still like to continue to eat this unhealthy food because I like it. See how I'm confused? So let's go over 
the $55 of junk food that I have spent on myself this month or this week this week all right so here are some pictures of that are not pictures of it here are my wrappers from my unhealthy food plus two more okay so this is from cafe rio i have two sauces salsas so i was hungry i ate my oatmeal i did not want to eat carrots um, you guys can see the food that I meal prepped for myself this week on the What I Ate and What I Meal Prepped blog. Um, and I was still feeling hungry. The only, the, the only thing that I didn't bring with myself is instead of for bringing two avocados for my meal prepped meal, I only did one because I was like, I'm trying to make my food stretch a little bit longer before I go to the grocery store. So, um... Normally, I would have two avocados in my guacamole, but I only have one, and maybe that's why I felt hungrier. So, what I did was, whoa, I went to Cafe Rio, and I got a bag of tortilla chips and two cups of pico de gallo. Two cups of pico de <laughs> Whoa! Two cups of pico de gallo. And I asked them to put a little bit of salsa because their salsa is too spicy for me. So it was pico de gallo with a little bit of salsa in each of these. And I used that bag of uh, tortilla chips to um, have me some makeshift nachos are some chips and dip, if you will, but salsa instead. And this cost me $7. I am so happy I made this choice because um, I walked out of Cafe Rio feeling like a superhero. I couldn't wait long enough to go to a Roberto's and get a burrito because I was still at work. And so um, I'm really happy that I went and did that because I was hungry. And once I ate that, I felt so good. Yeah, it was very nourishing. I know that the tortilla chips aren't that healthy, but I'm glad that I now came up with an, a solution to, okay, what can I eat that's as close to healthy as I can manage um, and still be satisfied and enjoy the meal without it being a bean and rice burrito. And now I see what that is. Okay, on the same day, I also had a churro. I'm quite surprised that I ate this because I thought I, would, I had been over the churros ever since eating those cookies. But on this churro, I did ask them to put extra sugar. And why did I want this churro? I think it was because I was craving something sweet. I wanted something sweet and I didn't want to wait until I went home. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this churro. I really want something that is sweet right now. And I made sure that they made it sweet by putting some extra sugar on it. Is that a good choice? No. Maybe next time I could just drink some water and walk like five laps. Like sweet is spelled S-W-E-E-T. Five letters. Let's walk five laps around my job maybe next time I'll do that do you believe me I don't believe myself either no worries <laughs> all right so here are I'm proud of this I'm proud that I went into a Smith's grocery store and I only bought two of my all-time favorite snack which are these pretzel bites. You guys have seen this on another Way in Wednesday. 
And I went into the store on that way on Wednesday saying I was only going to get one. And then I ended up getting two. And then I ended up getting like nine or 11 of them. So this time I only, 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 only got two of these pretzel bites. Was I hungry? No. I just wanted them. Is that good? No. But I got these just because I wanted them and I enjoy the taste. So maybe I can add more success to my future by just saying, well, I'm not hungry, so I shouldn't eat it. But then again, I don't want to use too much deprivation because I'm not into depriving myself. I'm just into living a healthier lifestyle. So, oh, and those um, pretzel bites, they cost me $2.50. And the churro cost me a dollar and sixty-one cents. And then here is a burrito. I happen to be genuinely hungry after work, so I was happy about going into Roberto's and getting me a five dollar and fifty-three cent bean and rice burrito with tomatillo sauce. So I was just hungry, and it delights me to eat something warm. But I did not get this because I wanted something warm. I just got it because I was hungry. And then I got a bonus feature of the fact that, hey, yay, I'm eating something warm. All right. Now, I'm going to go into the celebratory meals that I got for my birthday. And it wasn't really for my birthday. It was just because it was my birthday month. What provoked me to buy my favorite meal, which is Singapore rice noodles? I don't know. Because I saved in my phone, do not call them. I put that in my phone for the um, Chinese takeout place that I buy this from. I put do not call, but I didn't care. I called them anyway. So this is two servings. Our, two orders, more like four servings, of my favorite meal, which is Singapore rice noodles. I'll show you a picture of it in a moment. And it took me two days to eat this. Normally it would take me four days, um, but I guess I was extra hungry that day. And I think it was more of an emotional thing where I was saying, I'm gonna do for myself. I do for others, so I'm gonna go ahead and do for myself. And there was a time when, um, let me see if I should share this. Okay, I won't share it. But yeah, I was just like, I'm gonna do for myself. And I did it, you know? I did it, I'll show you a picture of it. So this is the size of the containers. I ordered two orders. Cause I figure if I'm gonna pay for delivery, I might as well get, you know, a substantial amount which is another lie, okay? I'm just not recognizing that's a lie that I told myself, so we can add that as being lie number four that I told myself this week. If I'm gonna pay for a delivery fee, I might as well get a lot of food. That's a lie, all right? And then here are four sugar cookies, not sugar cookies, but um, fortune cookies. And when I was eating these, I was like, I should have got me a bag of sugar cookies or fortune cookies. You know, I should have asked them, how much do you charge for extra fortune cookies? But I'm happy that I didn't because I don't need to do that. So here is a picture of my Singapore rice noodles. Same picture that I showed y'all last time. I didn't take a new updated picture, but it looks the same. It's essentially noodles that's made out of rice. And then there's just a few chives in there, a lot of curry um, and some spices. I asked them to make it mild. But yeah, this is my Singapore rice noodles. So you can multiply that by two because I got two orders. And that 
cost me about thirty-two dollars, twenty-eight to thirty-two dollars. I tipped the driver, so um, yeah, it cost me about thirty-two dollars that meal. How did I feel while I was eating it? Fantastic. How do I feel now about eating it? Fantastic. <laughs> That's why I have a channel talking about overcoming gluttony. <laughs> All right. So now um, the final birthday meal is this right here again. I went to Nick the Greek again and got some what? That's right. French fries. Yes, I got some French fries. And I'm going to show you the same picture that I've showed you before. Um, I did the same thing with these fries. I doctored them up by adding, um, I added some tomatoes, guacamole, home, my own guacamole, carrots, and um, yeah, I did the same thing again that I did on the last way in Wednesday. I went in there, ordered some fries, and doctored them up and put my own extra stuff with it so that that way I would not feel full. Or I would not be hungry. That way I would be full. So there's the carrot. Here are the tomatoes. Here's the guacamole. There's some lemon right there. There's some extra avocado. I did not get the hummus and the um, sauces this time. I did not get that. But something else that I got was, I asked them, hey, do you guys do anything special if it's a person's birthday? And they said, yeah, you can pick a dessert. So I, had to, I got to pick between baklava and frozen Greek yogurt or something like that. And then some other dessert called mandulis or something, mandalos. I'm not really sure how what it's called, but essentially it was like donut holes with honey and nuts on it. And they gave me that for free. I got eight donut holes that came in this size of a container. I didn't really care for that too much. I wouldn't buy it again. Not that I bought it that time, it was a gift, but I wouldn't buy that. So yeah. Um, this meal cost me about $12, I think. Somewhere between $9 to $12. I think it was $9. $9. Yeah. So that is Alicia's birthday month weigh-in. And we're only a little bit past halfway of the month. As of this time, it is Wednesday, April 19th, 2023. And yeah. What I'm going to do is keep on walking and keep on doing what I've been doing, which is living my life. I'm not going to deprive myself. I'm not going to beat myself down or beat myself up. I'm going to continue to live life. And we can go on this journey together of overcoming gluttony. Did I say that we will be perfect? No. But I'm just going to continue to live life casually and move forward with overcoming this gluttony. I think it would be really good to get your feedback on how you feel. Like, you know, should I be like more stringent? Should I... Um, celebrate responsibly or something like that yeah we're gonna have to figure this out <laughs> but I do have hopes that next year for my birthday I'll be more wise so yeah I'm hopeful of that but thank you so much for spending time with me I will see you all on tomorrow's vlog and I have to move a lot of junk food to see what tomorrow's vlog will be all right, so tomorrow's vlog will be subject to change. So I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for spending time with me. Bye.